and you thought buying second hand was nasty. Okay. <laughs> cheapest and work my way up how about that okay so as you saw through with the little clip i showed you that i was going to the thrift store um not all of this is from a thrift store some of it is from a consignment store and i'll tell you the difference and what that means and some of it came from f bestiaire but all of it is second hand no matter which route it comes from but i'm gonna show you what i got first or cheapest to the highest and it still is not a lot of money okay so the cheapest thing I got was these two bags that I'm about to show you so the first one this beautiful coach bag now first of all look at that beautiful brown that is what gets me with the coach bags when they have it in that beautiful brown color and look at the leather detail see this is an older bag and the quality of has made when it is what is vintage to me vintage is when they no longer make it you cannot find it to me it's vintage okay so this i guess you could call, call it just a crossbody bag is perfect for me not too big, not too small. When you're traveling or when you're going somewhere and you want to be hands-free, perfect. Look at the leather and the details. It has the, of course, the coach going around the, um, going around the latch. And then in the front, it has this front pocket that has the famous coach material inside. This bag barely looked like it was used at all and someone donated it and people was walking past this for five dollars really is that what we doing okay and it has another pocket in the front and it has the coach material inside see it was so much fake coach going around that i guess people like mm, that's fake i don't want it but you gotta look for the material how it feels how the um the um what do they call these the latches and 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 things like this uh you see it has the old coach um name tag and it has it on the front and the back this strap has coach going all the way down and the lettering is stitched in see you got to know by the quality of what you're looking at. See how it has the coach uh, stitched all the way down the strap. And in the back, nothing. Leather going around all the trim. Then you open it up. Zipper still sounds great. And on the inside, it also has all of the coach material. It has the coach, the um, coach leather tag inside. It has one big opening and then one small pocket. Is this not a very nice coach bag? So, so nice. $5. I got this bag. Now, everything you get, you don't always get because it's something that is designer or it, you get it because of the bag. I just love the frills that's going off of this bag. And this side, it just has this um, blue and white material that feels good it, it, i don't think anybody ever put anything inside um i got it to go with these secondhand 
shoes, but I'll talk about that in a minute because I'm going from lowest to highest. So those are the two $5 ones. Hold on a sec because I got another one as well. About my coach. It reminds me of the Prada nylon bag. Well, Coach has a nylon material bag too. And I got this from a consignment store. And it still has the Coach emblem side. And this strap is, re you know, it, it it's heavy. It feels good. Um, the craftsmanship is definitely when they used to really put good craftsmanship and leather and good material on bags um and i think i paid for this one 13 dollars so those are the two i got as far as those are the three bags these fendi glasses um, they got the Fendi logo on the side and of course all of the Fendi information on the inside in case you want to look it up and it is older of course so I just really like the way they feel because they feel like they they feel tight on my face so they are the perfect sunglasses because you know a lot of them they start if it's too big they start um as soon as you sweat they start sliding down your face these feel so good on my face it's like they were made for my face and black everything out these right here are perfect what do you think of these shades love them Okay, so I got these for $40. So I'm moving up in price. So let's see what's next. Um, next is... Ooh, I have to check the price on these. I Because I told you when I get it off Vestiaire... Um, I bid for the price until I bid for whatever the lowest I can get for something. And I'm trying to remember which one of these I think I paid the lowest for in the bid war. Yes, it was these. Okay. And it came with the bag. And it's the original bag. These shoes were never worn. And I told you I'm really into the platforms right now. So these were never worn and I just love the teal color and the fact that it wraps around your ankle. Nothing sexier than a, a shoe that goes around your ankle or anything that goes around your ankle. It, it is so sexy. If you ever put anklets on and um, it, it, it just accentuates your ankle. That is one of the places that is very sexy. So when you have a shoe that goes around the ankle, it just makes it even prettier. And these are also suede, but they are in the teal color, which is along the, um, what is it? A mix of blue and green. So yeah, so I thought that this would be perfect to wear spring into summer. And the thing about when suede in the summertime is it's not a suede jacket it's not a pair of suede pants you can wear it because everything is open so it doesn't matter if it's suede so i will be styling this for you you know i love to style stuff for you so the I next one at the lowest price is are these hermes and as you can see, it has Hermes there um, and at the bottom, they are yellow suede with the wooden heel platform. So these yellow suede platform heels, child, when I tell you 
that when I style these come spring and summer, I just love the yellow. And they look so sexy on the feet. So, and I like the square of the, look how the wood, it, it doesn't look like cheap plat, um, stecco wood like heels that you can find sometimes in cheaper brands this is wood and so is the platform and i just love the way hermes make it square where your foot goes this is just a beautiful shoe and holding it up like this is not do, giving it justice it looks so beautiful on um sandals and these also have the bracelet that goes around the ankle heavy gold thick and I love the way it has the shaded leather in the front these were also never worn practically brand new um, I think they said they warm just around the house, never warm outside. And I love it when I get something that is going to last me because even though it's secondhand, it has not been worn. Do you understand me? It's like buying it brand new out the box, but you're not paying nowhere near what you would have paid for them. So these also so all of them just in case because you know i don't have the perfect memory i'm gonna make sure that i put the prices ones are these dior kitten heel shoes with the crystal suede and bow on the side and um, these were uh, in excellent condition. They were worn, but you can tell it was not often. It's got the, um, of course, it's authentic. It has been authenticated. All the shoes I have are authentic. Um, and it has the of the um, code for the shoes and you can tell that it look at the inside no nasty funky feet has been like when he's the death these are the Dior and I paid um, I put the price down below because these I know I paid at least 500 for but they are well well worth it worth the money so those are my oh one more ah <laughs> so this one i didn't add to the low high price this right here is i want to talk about this um item that i got from the thrift store not a consignment store not secondhand off vestia a actual thrift store okay so let me tell you a little bit about it before i bring it out so um you know chanel have they totes and you know how much the totes cost i would love to get one um they're beautiful but the price for them for something that to me a tote is something i plan on throwing a lot of crap in but i want to wear it when in the summertime or in the winter time when i'm going somewhere but i need to carry a lot but i want to have something very nice and it is nice totes that you can buy that is not um a name brand because it's a lot of totes that's real leather i bought a, a, a leather bag that i travel with for five dollars and it has lasted me for five years now and it is perfection um but this bag i wanted a chanel tote but i will not unless i get it second hand but sometimes when you get these totes second hand they are they have been used to death because when would you not need a tote 
So not a lot of people get rid of them unless they get stained, color transfer, blah, blah, and blah. They were donated a VIP Chanel tote. Now what that means is like you can go on far, um, um, you can go on Fashion File or some, or I haven't seen one on Vestia, at least I haven't ran across one yet or something like that. Any other, other secondhand ones and you may find that a client, they got to be good clients. When uh, Chanel give them VIP gifts, one of the VIP gifts they gave them was a bag, a tote bag. And I think it had, um, it's a one of their beauty bags. So it, they put beauty items in there for their VIP clients. Now, you can do whatever you want to to these items. You could sell them because it still is a Chanel, one of a kind, something that you cannot just go buy anywhere. It is a tote. And I so happen to be the first one to see it when I was in the thrift store before anyone else, they were just putting it out. It is a Chanel VIP guest tote bag. You're not gonna see this anywhere else. It's not a fake Chanel. It is really from Chanel. It is just a VIP gift. And if you know anything, you would know that Chanel still puts quality in anything they give away. Anything they make. It has the chain detail and it has the Chanel information in the front. It is canvas. It is a leather holder. On the inside, I stuffed it because you know, totes are flat. On the inside, let me see if I can get it right without you. Okay, I stuffed it with a lot of thick stuff. Oh, I'm falling off there. On the inside, it has the Chanel on the um, the uh, chain holder that's going through. It has Chanel on the snap closure. And it also comes with, it has Chanel. Um, it has a pouch that also comes with it. And on the zipper, it has Chanel on the zipper. And um, you can take this out and use this separately. And it still, even though it is, it is not the tote bag, it is still, even this feels good. And um, it has the CC also on the um, zipper holder. So, like I said, this is a VIP gift, so it is not the original tote, but it is a true Chanel bag. So, guys, always look for, if you can't afford what you see, look for something similar that you can't afford. And when I saw this, it was meant for me because I was never going to buy a Chanel tote. And now I have one black that I can really not have any problems because it's so sturdy and I don't have to worry about carrying around in the summertime or carrying around when I want to use it as my bag traveling. And I did not have to buy a fake to do it. Thanks for joining me guys. Bye.